a thoughtful pose in the hallway, making the most of reading time in the library. They lay on shelves, hide behind glass, bring a smile to those headed to class. They shyly play peekaboo or anxiously wait for the principal. Hard to tell what's real and what's not. You can find them hiding in plain sight. Here's a Viking and his best friend. A reflection of their personality, an expression of their lives. Some showy, others subdued. They're lining up and laying down. These are student bodies made by the student body at Geyser Middle School under the direction of art teacher, Miss Swenson. It's an up close and personal kind of art. It's an expression. You always catch them out of the corner of your eye and sometimes you think they're somebody real but then but they're actually not. I constantly think I have kids down here when I don't. <laughs> so they kind of, you know, they, they make me nervous because I'm trying to account for everybody. <laughs> the one that caught me off uh, at first was when I looked into the cabinet through the glass. At first I thought it was someone real. <laughs> at first I was kind of creeped out but now I think they're kind of cool because like they're all around the school and sometimes you don't notice them. I think it's fabulous art. I love it. <laughs> the student bodies project is such a great idea. It's so fun. I love all of them throughout the school. So tell me how you came up with the idea. You've been doing it for three years. Yeah, I actually I came across, um, I was just searching the internet and I found a, uh, an artist, Mark Jenkins, and he's a pretty well-known uh, street installation artist. And I thought what he does was just amazing, and I love all the different series that he does. And we are modeling our work off his Embed series. So um, I teach them all about Mark Jenkins and the whole the street installation art and that movement. So it's not just about creating a person, but it's about an installation. So having them interact with their environment and every you know all all of that. So it's all not just one thing, but it's the whole surroundings. And Mark Jenkins uses people as part of his stage and so it's part of his art and we're doing right. the same thing here is that when students come walking into a room and they're not expecting that you know it looks like a student sleeping there it, it gives them a fright and they're just like whoa what is that and they kind of <laughs> kind of have to go and they touch it a little bit to see that it's not real but it's that reaction is what we're looking for so like my students kind of get a little sneaky with it and they just you know peer around and you know see what how people are reacting to their sculptures and it's it's really interesting to see that. Miss Swenson and her students show me how this unique art project is achieved, and there's a lot to it. Uh, the process is you wrap in saran wrap, and then you wrap uh, packing tape sticky side up, and then you do another layer sticky side down, and then they're going to be cutting me out. So it's almost like a snake shedding their skin. <laughs> you just kind of slide it off. <laughs> okay, go for it. All right. Okay. Is there, is there a belly? Yeah. Okay. Can you lose weight doing this kind of thing? I know, right? <laughs> You gotta be really secure with yourself doing exactly. this because you take it off and you're like, oh. <laughs> Make sure it's loose enough. Now, when the kids work, remember uh, to go low. When the kids do this in class, do they work in teams to help each other out? Yeah, they work in groups of three, three to four. And you mentioned that um, this is a fa this project is a favorite of kids. Oh yes, it is a huge favorite. Um, it's the most popular one I think that we have. Uh, I've had students come up to me, and the only reason that you know, or the big reason why they're taking art is to do this project. It's because they see it and they've seen it from past years, and they're really excited that they get to make one. Gavin, what do you think about doing this project? Uh, it's really fun. It. It can get a little awkward around some parts, <laughs> but it is really fun to do. What's the best part about it for uh, you? When, like when you finish and you just see it stand there uh -huh. or be wherever it is. It's just really funny to see like a cast of you or your partner around. OK, you're going to go anywhere. Somewhere. Yeah. What do you like about Miss Swenson's class? Um. I just like how how like okay. crazy of art oh, projects okay. we do. Like we just do such a wide variety back. of things. The students cover every inch of their model with saran wrap to create a base layer protecting their clothing and skin. When we talk about middle schoolers, is it tough to teach them art? 
No, or, not at all. Not at all. No, they take to it. It's all about how you teach it. I mean, if you just kind of throw something at them, they're going to struggle. But it's putting those scaffolds in and taking it one step at a time, and this is how you do it. And then you do this, and then you do this, and just demoing to them how to actually do it. And they can produce some really great things. So you'd be surprised. And the ones, I can't draw, I can't do anything, they're producing these just great works of art. Okay, so now while Gavin is doing the saran wrap, what is Kendra doing with the tape? She's going to put on the second layer, which is the sticky side up. You know, I've never let students wrap me before. <laughs> How does it mean you're wrapping them? <laughs> yeah. She was on the other foot here, teacher. It is super hot. <laughs> to be all this hard every once in a while. <laughs> How much tape do you go through? Uh, a lot. Uh, each body takes about three to four rolls of that, of the big roll of tape. Yeah. And then uh, we stuff them with newspaper to make them a little bit more sturdy before we dress them, put them together. So it is it's a lot. Very thankful for the suppliers I get that yeah. I can get it very cheaply, so I can keep doing this project. <laughs> it must be noise in your classroom when you're doing this. Yeah, especially when there's uh, ten bottles going on at one time. Also, they seem to have some really interesting conversations that you never think you would have with a student. <laughs> you know, if you were just to hear the audio in our classroom, it would uh, be like, what? <laughs> you're talking about it. It's like, have you taped the bottom yet? You know? <laughs> and, uh, it's like, all right, make sure you got to get that really good. And, you know. <laughs> it's kind of one of those kind of personal kind of projects, though. Now, what if you had an itch? you got to tough it out. <laughs> We always hope for no fire drills on the days when we're doing our bottoms, too. Oh, God. <laughs> <I don't even laughs> that. What would you okay. do if you had a fire drill? I thought drill? of that and pre-planned it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to waddle on out. <laughs> you know? We've had that happen before in past years where students, not their bottoms haven't been, but like feet, hands, arms, or whatever, and they're just taking it and they just kind of have to go out. <laughs> Next, the student artist apply tape sticky side down to create the outer layer of the sculpture or student body. Miss Swenson, when did you realize you wanted to be an art teacher? Well, I've always loved art. Um, I got to high school. My favorite teacher was an art teacher, Mr. Viola at Columbia River. Um, he's what inspired me. But I actually didn't get it until about a little bit later on in life because I got married and had kids and just kind of put things on hold to go back to college. Oh, and you know, get my, my degree and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, was, I always love teaching my daughter how to do art, and this, this, is, this, is, this is good. This is what I want to do, is to do this. So are you happy? I'm very happy. I absolutely love my job. There's, I mean, I get to make art all day, you know, and teach kids that, you know, just seeing those concepts that, you know, when they get it, they have the, like, aha moment and stuff. It's fantastic. I love seeing that. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. Do you see that they project themselves into their art? You can see there's definitely some personalities in with these. I mean, even very subtle, just the, um, with the poses of them where you have like, you know, the feet crossed or, you know, the way they're dressed or what they're doing. There's some that are like kind of Doctor Who oriented, you know, because they really love it. And then there's some that are more like athletic looking, they're really into sports. Um, so they, they do take their personalities and they really go with it. Once the subject is wrapped, next comes the tricky part of cutting her out. The kids run their scissors up natural seams in the body, like the spine or elbows. So what happens at this point, guys? Um, we just pretty much tape the spine and everything that's cut, and uh -huh. then we fill it in with newspaper. Yeah. We just oh. tape it back together, and then fill it up with newspaper to make it like stiff. Go for it. And because you really shouldn't cover a face in saran wrap, that wouldn't turn out well, they use these styrofoam heads to replicate their own. <laughs> Why is it important to have art in schools? Art is so important in schools because it gives kids something 
you know, that they value and they find interesting. It lets them express themselves in ways that other, you know, other ways they can't. Um, you can only do so much through like radio or shows, watching things on the computers that base, but actually physically doing something with your hands is really important. And a lot of kids really um, just relate to it, to being able to have that tactile thing to be able to manipulate with their hands. So it is a way to be able to express things and things that are going on in your life and everything that you don't want to outwardly share with people, and but you can put it on art. And it's okay because it's almost like it's it's not you, and it's not you, but, but it is. Do you think the kids get a sense of joy expressing themselves? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, can you, you see can it on see, their faces? Exactly, yeah. Whenever we have art shows or you see artwork that's displayed around the school, you can see when I'm walking by, I hear them like, look, that one's mine, that one's mine. <laughs> and they see it and they're super excited to have it up there. Student bodies at Geyser Middle School, giving kids a chance at true expression. In Vancouver Public Schools, art is part of the core curriculum. Every student has the opportunity for expression. Dance, drama, music, painting, drawing, photography, and much more. And even if you don't have a student in school, you can support young artists by attending their recitals and shows. Just ask at your neighborhood school.